Joyce actually is the first person to suggest uh, when we came to New York and I needed uh, to go with um, someone else directing it, Joyce had just seen Jelly's Last Jam and called up and suggested, she was the first person apparently that you jam, some people were already thinking about it, but she was the first person to say to me, you should go see this musical, you should think about this guy, uh, George Wolfe directing it. And it was primarily because, even though the play is obviously very, very full of words, um, uh, maybe over full of words, uh, it, it needed, we all felt, after having seen it in four different venues, um, somebody who could really make it sort of move um, and, and fly. And we saw what George had done in Jellies with a kind of um, magical uh, way with transitions and, and making the event dance. But when you haven't worked with a director before, it's a terrifying thought because you don't know who this person that you're sort of buying into is going to become and, uh, and, <laughs> and how you're going to get along because it's inevitably, I think, with a playwright and a director, uh, um, a meeting of, of fairly strong personalities. And, I mean, it better be that because if not, one person is going to wind up being flattened um, Which in one the is experience. That? Well, it, it, it shouldn't be either one, but it, frequently you see playwrights who just eat directors for breakfast, and you see directors who take playwrights and sort of, you know, um, completely uh, maul their plays. So I think it's better if it's two people that, who can, if necessary, like a good marriage, sort of fight and change and struggle, and it's equally uh, balanced.